Two questions. Mm -hmm. My nephew that was in the hospital that had um, all the heart issues, he's on heart blood pressure medication now, okay. um, you know, maintaining, he did already have some basil oil, which he's been taking. Um, and mm -hmm. we've gotten him the tarragon. So we're going to, my question is, should he just do the tarragon and, and not do the basil for now? For, and remind me what we were doing that for. So he had, he went into the hospital. He was having seizures. He was in um, arrhythmia. They had to do heart ablation and um, his, he had very poor vagal tone um, for the last year. He's had severe gut issues, just a really stressful year with um, a sick child. Okay. So yeah, I, let's have you up pretty hard on the tarragon. Yeah, like um, inhale, but like two or three drops in water, like maybe even twice a day. Um, the other thing you could rotate in there is either rosemary verbenum by itself or rotate in um, that ANS support. And you could do tarragon one dosage and then the rosemary verbenum or ANS the second. But a couple of things, you're wanting to rehab uh, like what we would call a stress plague digestive tract. You know, you want to undo the effects of stress, be it physical or psychological, doesn't really matter. And uh, the reason we're going a little bit heavier on the tarragon is just to balance out the, the vagus nerve and the parasympathetic activity, which is the rest and repair mode component of, of the autonomic nervous system you know the involuntary part of the nervous system at some point we can switch over and um usually this is what i do with when somebody has like a pretty serious imbalance in the autonomic nervous system is we would do tarragon or you know even marjoram could be substituted for that but um uh, for this i kind of like tarragon a little bit more um uh and then for a little while, we do that. And then we have them slow roll into using anise. That would be internally um, just by itself, not in a blend or anything. And that has a little bit more of a balancing effect between the, the sympathetic and parasympathetic or the fight flight versus rest and repair component of the autonomic nervous system. It's, so it's balancing it out. And then after a little while of that, I would move them into um, frankincense and myrrh. Like, so the three wise men blend or to blend frankincense and myrrh together. And you're affecting the, the endocrine system. You're affecting some of the cerebral spinal fluid circulation there. But also you're with the frankincense and myrrh, you're hitting the hypothalamus and it even further like helps to balance out the, the autonomic nervous system or that involuntary part of the nervous system. Like uh, I, I find that if you kind of slow walk it like that, it's, it's more effective and like a last longer after they stop taking the, the oils or stop doing the treatment. And so I always like to kind of do this like progressive thing with that Honestly, most people don't usually make it out of the first phase and they start feeling a little bit better and they just kind of drop it. But if I was to do like, oh, this is the therapeutic approach, that's that's what I would do. So the tarragon combined with rosemary or ANS, then eventually move into anise, um, you know, maybe three, four weeks out and then three or four weeks out from there, like relatively big dosages of frankincense and myrrh. Like I would say six drops, maybe a couple of times a day. Um, that will that will jumpstart all the glands and everything, but it will also um, help to balance out the long-term effects of the autonomic nervous system. Okay, so I don't want to overwhelm him with too much. Is it okay to take him off of the basil and just focus yeah. on tarragon? Yeah, yeah, and you so can let him go on for how how long before I check back in again? Um, I would say at least two weeks. Okay. All right. And then 